Good morning, fam. I am up. I am Adam. I am back in the swing of things. And that means it's time for Zip Fizz. Let's see what flavor we got in my pocket. Limon. Oh yeah, like this. I'm just really enjoying all the different flavors of Zip Fizz that I've been trying over the past month. And this is definitely one of my favorites. It's delicious. It is tart, but it's sweet also. And I love that it's green because everything else I have is like in the red, brown, pink arena. So I absolutely love having a green Zip Fizz. Oh yeah, absolutely. Look at that awesome green goodness. All right guys, it is the final week of the Cut Down to KetoCon Challenge. That just means this week and next week, a week from today, I will be in Austin, Texas getting ready for KetoCon. So I'm so excited. And in honor of that preparation that I'm gonna be doing between now and then, I gotta give it a shake. So let's get ready to shake it in three, two, one. <laughs> vacation next week. Oh. All right, guys, to an awesome summer. Oh yeah, definitely one of my favorites. Oh yes. Speaking of that, it's kind of funny. I'm so excited that a lot of people are excited to meet me at KiddoCon and I am so excited to see you as well. Like I cannot wait to meet you, but like I'm also excited to like meet Zip Fizz. Like I'm going to walk up to them <laughs> I don't even know what I'm gonna do when I walk up to him. I'm just gonna be like, oh my God, your product has changed my life. <laughs> I'm also gonna be like, can your girl get a code? Damn. <laughs> JK, you guys, like it's gonna be great when we all meet each other. I am very excited, but like, I'm also excited to enjoy this right now to get ready for exercise. So let's do it. It's so awesome when she moves your body to the one. Mommy, you came to visit mommy in the gym. He's a good girl, Mady. You came to visit mama. Maddie, look at your mom. Maddie, look at your mama. Maddie, look over here at your mother. Milton, there's my Milton. Milton, sit. Milton, sit. Milton, okay, Maddie, sit. One of y'all, sit. Sit. Okay, nope, all right. Okay, mommy loves you. Sit, Milton. Okay guys, I remember distinctly saying like several times in my meal prep video that for the last week of the Cut Down to KetoCon Challenge, I get 1300 calories. Uh, well, the lie detector has determined that that was a lie. <laughs> I actually only get 1200 calories this week. Um, something fun I discovered when I went to calculate my macros, um, meaning that there are no room for snacks. There's no room for anything extra. However, what I do have room for is my exact same breakfast that I've literally been eating every day for over a month at this point. It is three eggs and a half tablespoon of butter, piece of sausage, uh, two pieces of bacon, and like words cannot describe how much of like a lifesaver this is. It's always filling, it's always satisfying, it's always salty and delicious. Let me go ahead and holler at some of these eggs right quick. Mmm. Mmm. I'm just so grateful that it is one of those recipes that I will never get tired of. I will say after this challenge, I'm probably gonna mix it up a little bit. <laughs> just because, but like for right now, this is giving me everything I need. So I'm gonna eat this, drink some water, have a Zevia, and then like, really there's no other snacks. There's the whipped cream, and then there's my dinner. So <laughs> that's it. So guys, did you know that there were three grams of total carbs per tablespoon of unsweetened cocoa powder? I didn't know that till I started calculating my macros. And um, since I can only have five total carbs a day for this whole week, I mean, as much as I love it, I cannot spend three of them on a tablespoon of cocoa powder. Oh my gosh. So this is just that regular whipped cream, just whipped cream. I put a splash of vanilla extract. I put a splash of monk fruit in there. 
I mean, it's still so good, but like the chocolate one will be my favorite one forever. I cannot wait to try the peanut butter kind that you guys have been suggesting. Like what? Comment down below right now. Name some other like favorite mix-ins or add-ons or extracts or something. I saw like a cake batter extract the other day. This is all I have room for today, guys. Like Zip Fizz breakfast, Zevia cream, pulled pork, that's what I'm having for dinner, and Jello and another Zevia. Like that is it. Like I'm gonna eat this, I'm gonna get to work, I'm gonna eat me some pork. Okay guys, it's time for the final meal of the day, which is basically just a bowl of pulled pork. It's actually not a bad amount. It's like 130 something grams, and it's just that Costco pulled pork. Now you know that I love burnt, dried out meat, so what I did was I put this in the microwave per the microwave instructions, and then when it was done, I dumped it all out onto the frying pan, like onto the stove, to like heat it and dry it out even more. And then what I did was take today's portion that I'm gonna have and put it back in the microwave again. Like you guys, I want to dry it out as best that I can. And I think I've done a good job with that. It really wasn't that flavorful to begin with. So I just put some uh, Cajun salt on there and some hot sauce, of course. So I'm gonna eat this. And then for dessert, I got Jello and I got Zevia. Like that's it for this week. 1200 calories lots of fat some protein barely any carbs but i'm okay with that because i can do it i can challenge myself for a week makes for a super boring what i eat wednesday video but like glad you stuck around huh huh thanks so much for watching this video if you like it don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel watch autumn keto i make weekly meal preps weekly what i eat wednesdays monthly weigh-ins monthly keto crate unboxings and the occasional product review and recipe you can also find me on Facebook and Instagram at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks and I'll see you next week.